All right, let's wrap this up with a little Europa League talk because there were some great games, by the way, that we're looking forward to beginning James Bench with Barcelona. We have we have we have our resident Europa League spokesman with us as well. That's right, James that's Bench. right. But here are the <laughs> here are the fixtures, by the way. Real Betis against Zenit, Braga against Sheriff, Dinamo Zagreb against Sevilla, Lazio, Porto, Napoli, Barcelona, the Diego Maradona fixture. Olympiacos, Olympiacos Atalanta, which is a really good one. Rangers Dortmund, that's a Giovanni Reina fixture uh by the way claudio <laughs> reina's uh father who by the way apparently named giovanni after giovanni van brockforce <laughs> so isn't that interesting that. yeah yeah a real sociedad against leipzig uh bench talk to me what i mean what fixture obviously napoli barcelona, barcelona well, big one, right exactly i mean there's no point trying to be, be around the bush here we've got a, a a tie we might expect to see you know in champions league in the knockout stages of the Champions League in years gone by, and we've got it very early in the Europa League. Um, again, was there, not a, was there not a great game between Napoli and Barca like five, six years ago? I remember Cavani scoring like a wild goal. Oh, in the Champions League. League. Yeah. Yeah, in the Champions League. A group stage game, I believe, right? Oh, it was last year as well. So it's not no, that. no, no. There was, no, there was one before that. The last, what was last year? Last year was what? A friendly? I've got no memory of these games. Yeah, me neither. In the Champions League last year. Yeah, that's right. My, but that wasn't the one that Jonathan Johnson's talking about. He's talking about one of the, you know, an interesting one from a while ago. But Napoli, Barcelona, Jonathan Johnson is clear. Is there another one that you're looking at that you think, ooh, that's a tasty one? Well, apart from Braga Sheriff? <laughs> Come on now. No, I mean, honestly, I'm, that's I'm, gonna be I'm, a goal excited. I'm excited about a lot of these games. Uh, I think Olympiacos Atalanta has the potential to be quite fiery, particularly in Greece. Sociedad Leipzig is, you know, is very, very attractive for the neutral uh, and Rangers Dortmund as well looks very tight. And La Lazio Porto, I mean, that could easily have been a Champions League clash. So, I mean, even Dinamo Zagreb Sevilla has, you know, a lot of quality uh, around it as well. Betis Zenit. I mean, honestly, they, they all are very, um, very interesting fixtures for a variety of reasons. But it's hard to look past that Napoli Barcelona. And if, if I was pushed to maybe pick a second, I'd probably just say Sociedad Leipzig. Yeah, that's a good would, one as well. Go ahead, Bench. I would just say as well, I mean, we said this about the first Champions League draw. This is a great draw for the teams that are waiting in the round of 16. I think Napoli and Barcelona were, were among the two, two or three favourites to win this competition. I think you'd have put Sociedad and Leipzig in that category as well. So if you're a West Ham, for instance, you know, my, my personal favourites to win this all now. Yeah. I think you'll be looking at this going fantastic. Barcelona out uh, Sociedad probably out two teams you don't have to draw in the round of 16 yeah um, it, yeah. I think this is a real going to be a real thinning thinning of the field in the Europa League that will suit suit a team like West Ham or Leverkusen as well that are lying in wait in that round of 16 yeah very good point Barcelona by the way uh, God that, time flies I don't know I feel like last year's or you might as well be 10 years ago Barcelona beat Napoli in last year's round of 16 <laughs> by the way I mean, I, I don't telling even me this, but uh, I've got I no know. memory. I have it, zero I memory of that, but I'm, I'm sure. No, but I've, got, I've got, I've got it here. I'm trying to locate it at the moment because there is that Napoli subsequently went on to win this game three uh, one. Talking about Edinson Cavani scoring a, a, a an overhead kick, looks like it dates back to like 2012. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to look this up. I'm telling you right now, I think Napoli is <laughs> winning this. Uh, what do you think, Jonathan? <sighs> Uh, you know what? I would have felt a lot more confident about this had you asked me, say, like two weeks ago, maybe even 10 days ago, because Napoli yeah, have got off the ball a little bit. I think it really depends how they strengthen the January transfer window, but also at the same time, uh, you know, how seriously Barcelona are going to take this. You know, are they going to sulk a bit and feel like they're above the Europa League? How dare they? I hear James Bench screaming. Uh, it's <laughs> nah, really, man, they need I, the money, I, JJ. They need the money. Yeah, I know, but league. no, but re really, for me, I, th I think N Napoli for at this moment in time shade it for me. I've I've not seen anything from Barca that suggests they'll even be able to handle this uh, dropping into the Europa League. So this is this is a pretty disastrous draw for for Barca, I'd wager. Yeah, I'm with JJ there. I think what you've got to see for Napoli for them to get back to the form they were in before is just that they get players fit. And obviously, uh, Ozim Henny looks like he'll be back very soon and should be at full fitness, barring any AFCON issues by the time uh, the, the knockout stages roll around. Whereas for Barcelona, you kind of just have to project that 
that Xavi completely radically overhauls this club, gives them a good centre forward, balance in defence, does all that with no money in a few months' time. It's yeah. it's hard to just sort of it's hard to talk yourself into Barcelona. They they're, they're good players that that could be performing better than they are. So I I I I'd, I'd, I wouldn't find it unimaginable for them to knock out Napoli. But um, I mean, absolutely with JJ that. There's no evidence right now that's saying to you you should expect uh, you should expect Barcelona to win this. Win no this chance. Time. Those days are gone. About like confirming any kind of victory for them, but it would be a very intriguing fixture. And there you have it, everybody. That was our Champions League round of sixteen uh, conclusion. Take two. This is it. I feel that no way we're doing another one. I refuse. Uh, and also <laughs> our chatter on Europa League. Don't forget, by the way, that we got the USMNT hour coming later on if you're listening to this before that time we got weekend previews and so much more you can follow james bench on twitter james bench and jonathan johnson john underscore the gossip and all their work of course on cbs sports uh final thoughts here before we say goodbye can be on this or on anything uh james bench uh, anything to to work on this week um yes uh, Arsenal against West Ham, very exciting game coming up on Wednesday. I mean, there's plenty of other teams in the race, but it, it's maybe shaping up to be something like a playoff for for fourth mm. spot, at least around the Christmas period. So a big, big weekend of Premier League games that is going to ensure I never get to sleep before 2 a.m. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and Jonathan Johnson can all but relate with that. How about you? What are you working on, JJ, this week? Uh, you know, what? I'm actually looking forward to the French Cup because of the way that the domestic calendar has been changed a bit. We've got a few uh, nice little fi- uh, David versus Goliath fixtures to look forward to. And the great thing about the French Cup is you can always guarantee there's going to be at least one or two shocks. I'm looking forward to who gets dumped out by uh, some uh, relative minnows this time around. I love it. I love it. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being part of the family. Uh, make sure that to follow us on Twitter, Kegolasso Pod. We are also on youtube.com forward slash Kego Lasso, CBS Sports, your CBS Sports app, and of course, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and everywhere else. You listen to your pods. Jonathan Johnson, thank you so much, buddy. Thanks a lot, guys. Always a pleasure, and uh, let's just hope that there's not a third time. 100% with you, my man. James Bench, thank you, my man. Yeah, thank you. If there is a third time, I'm not going to be doing this pod again. I'm going to watch Succession. I do not disagree <laughs> with you one slight bit. I'll watch uh, the Sex in the City revamp. Uh, <laughs> so let's thank you, everybody. Have a great, great beginning to your week. We will see you next time.